Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, you know, the title of my video is probably gonna be um, the hate that security forces has to stop. Security forces ain't that bad, or you know what I'm saying? Something like that. But the whole gist of this video is if you are thinking about joining the Air Force, you know, and you wanna be in security forces, and you've been hearing a lot of bad stuff about why you shouldn't be in security forces, then hey, I'm here to convince you it's really not that bad, you know what I'm saying? It's not the perfect job in the world. No job is really the perfect job in the world unless you're really doing like what you want to do, like a dream job, except YouTube, of course. But um, it is a pretty good job, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people hate on security forces, and I'm here to tell y'all, if you're thinking about doing it, man, hey, come on in. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to give you some reasons why I think it's actually pretty good. And we ain't going to talk about no bad things about security forces at all. Because you probably heard about them bad things. We just going to talk straight good things about security forces and why I think if you, you know what I'm saying, considering joining, you should join. Right now, I'm in my uniform right now for the day. Because I actually have to be at work in about, I don't even know, watch me, about an hour or so. So, you know, I was like, let me go ahead and get ready, you know, and then just head to work right after so that way I can take my time with this video. But, um, yeah, if you if you in Vegas, you get to wear these little nice little combat tees. Of course, you got to wear, you know, your vest and your plate over it. But it's like 100 and something degrees out here. So wearing this thing is going to be a whole lot, you know what I'm saying, cooler, you know, than wearing like your other stuff with your green Coyote t-shirt because you're going to feel so hot in that. But I feel like, you know what I'm saying, it's pretty chill. One day I'll show you how I look with all my stuff on too. You know, I'll put my vest on. You got your little holster and everything right here. And your, just all your stuff up front. But anyway, to the video. So, like I said, a lot of people hate on security forces. But I'm going to tell you one thing that everybody's starting to notice. The people that hate the most about your job, this could apply to any job in the world. The people that's going to talk bad about that job the most are people that don't even do that job or never done that job. A lot of people that hate on security forces don't, you know what I'm saying, never even did security forces because somebody just told them not to do it and then they pass, you know, the news on to somebody else, don't do it. But if you actually talk to somebody that does security force, some of them could be like, hey man, I love it, you know, or you're going to find other people that be like, it's not even as bad as, you know, what people make it out to seem. You know, like a lot of people make it seem like it's terrible, talking about some um, good luck scanning cats for like 12 hours in a day, you know what I'm saying, like you outside. But if you really, you know what I'm saying, do the job, ain't nobody finna be outside for 12 hours in a row, you know? Like, for example, let's say I'm at this gate, right? And I'm only working an eight hour shift, you know? And it's me, you, and some other person, three of us. So if we decide we wanna do hours, so I'm gonna have you, let's say you go out the first hour, right? You scan the cax the whole first hour, and then when you done with your hour, you got two hour break because now it's my turn, you know what I'm saying? And then it has the other person's turn. So why me and the other person out there for an hour, you know, you just been chilling in the gate shack, you know, studying or doing whatever you're doing, you know. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna let you know or tell you what to do, but you know, you could go ahead and just study for all your stuff or just chill, you know, relax, you know. But that's pretty much how it goes. Like, and then, you know, once you do your hour, I do my hour, they do their hour, and then it's back, you can do your hour, you know what I'm saying? The eight hours go by quick, you know, you barely only be out there. Sometimes you only be out there a day, maybe twice a day, three times a day, depending on, you know, how many people you got posted with you, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like you really being out there for 12 hours or eight hours, you know, eight hours straight. Because honestly, you know, that first 30 minutes, you like, oh yeah, yeah. This, this ain't it, you know what I'm saying? So the time we get to the hour, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, bro, get out there, you know what I'm saying? I'm chilling, relaxing, drinking, eating food and all that too. And then I got a whole little two hour break before I gotta be back out there. Now there's some jobs out here that you really gotta be working almost damn near like four hours in a row. You get a lunch break and now you back the other four hours, you know what I'm saying? They don't wanna talk about that. They want the bad security forces, but you know what I'm saying? I'm not here, you know, getting sponsored by security for this is a job I do I mean this is just how I see it but um yeah so as far as the hours it's really not that bad because you know some jobs like you know some places you might be were posted out it you might have four people with you now think about that imagine you got four people with you and now you do your one hour 
And now, you know what I'm saying, you got that three hour break of just chilling before you gotta go back out there. You know what I'm saying? And then it's only eight hours. You really only out there for so long too. And then when you are out there, it's not bad at all. Like, really, I'm gonna tell you, it's all you gotta do, you know, take notes or whatnot. You stand still, you know what I'm saying? You either got the, the UV light or you got, you know, your CAC scanner. You know, the car pulls up, take their ID, you scan the back of their ID, you know? If, you know what I'm saying, if they're an officer, and then you would just salute right before they leave, just hand them one of these, and then you just give them cat back. But if they're, you know what I'm saying, they're regular enlisted, you just hand them cat back, you know, let them know how nice they. I say the same thing every time. Sometimes I feel like I'm going crazy. I got like, hey, how are you doing? They're like, I'm doing good, da 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 I am like, have a nice day, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's just pretty much the dialogue. So you just, you do all that for an hour, you got your water bottle right there, you know, and you just be chilling. And then by the time you're done, you know what I'm saying, you're just relaxing, catching up on whatever, you know what I'm saying, studying for your QC. If a lot of you guys are in security forces and you're about to take your QC test and you need help, ask me. I got like a 93. I think a 93 and 94 on that on that test. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So hours aren't bad. People make it seem like it's bad, but it's really not. You know, one thing I do like about it is the schedule too. Cause I mean if you have a 12 hour schedule, then you might have let's say like let's say you work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? And then you might have Monday, Tuesday off. And then you know what I'm saying, then you might have to work Wednesday, Thursday, and then now you have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. You could be on that type of schedule, but the schedule I'm on is swing. So, unfortunately, we uh, work Tuesday through Friday, and then sometimes we have you know um, Monday off, but we always have Saturday and Sunday off. So it depends on what you want to do. But yeah, I really think that. Um, and plus another thing too, look, hey, if you're gonna be in the military, right? You might as well be in the military. You know what I'm saying? Like. If you, you know what I'm saying, pick the, if you're going to be in the Air Force, pick the badass job. I will say flying jets is probably a little more badass than me because I'll be up there and there going crazy flying it. But if you, you know what I'm saying, want to deal with guns and everything, security force is the best option because with me, um, you know, I was only thinking to do four years, you know, in the military. I'm still only thinking to do that. I only got three years left. I already did one. But for me, I was like, all right, if I'm going to do this, you know, I might as well go all in. So. I wanted to learn how to, you know, shoot guns more because I always wanted to go to the gun range, but I just never had the time to do it. But like here, I shot so many guns, like it's crazy. You shoot like machine guns, all that. You go to some bases, you can shoot grenade launchers, all that, everything too. But um, the shooting part is really fun. I want to be a badass and actually know how to shoot and actually take apart my weapon because no one ever taught me how to do all that before in the military. But now I'm over there. You know, people compare me to like the Black John Wick. You know what I'm saying when they see me shoot, but it, it's pretty fun because one of the shooting things we have to do, we have to um, you have to have the gun right here, and he said go. You have to shoot like real close, like, pop, pop, and then you have to shoot like right in the head. So it was like, but I ain't gonna lie, when I did that, I was looking left and right. And everybody took a step back. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just like really fun. Like you really feel like, oh, oh, oh this man dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Like. No other job in the Air Force is gonna have, you know, you shooting as much as security forces shoot. So if you, you know what I'm saying, wanted to deal with guns and you wanted the good life for the Air Force, you know, it makes sense that you go security forces too. And plus all, you know, like even if you think about carrying a gun, they teach you about a Leosa. If you don't know what that is, that's pretty much where you get a concealed permit to carry, but it's in all 50 states, you know. So. You in New York, you know, getting a chopped cheese and get pulled over, you know how strict the New York laws are when it comes to guns, you know. You show them your videos a license, then you're good. And I think it's good up to like the first five years and then you have to redo it. And I'm in the process of getting doing that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is a lot of work, but I'm in the process of doing that because I think it's smarter for me to do that than just get a regular Nevada concealed uh, to carry. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get the Leosa and like, you go anywhere with that. But you just gotta make sure you're smart about the laws. Like I think in California, you're only allowed to have like 10 bullets, you know, in your magazine. But that's a whole different thing. If you want to know more about that, I can possibly help you with that. But I really feel like all positive stuff, security forces is actually a pretty cool job to do. It's pretty chill, laid back, you know what I'm saying? The days feel long, but the weeks they go by flop, uh, fast. That's pretty much on every job with the Air Force. That's the one thing that they taught me. But. I hope this video made you kind of consider joining the Air Force.
to do security forces, you know. If you want a pretty chill, laid back job where you just shoot a bunch of guns, and plus, security forces, I feel like we're one of the coolest people on the Air Force. A lot of the parties hosted by security forces are probably one of the coolest parties to go to. And it's cool to know somebody that's in security forces because if they put me on patrol, you know what I'm saying, and I pull you over, and I'm like, hey, what up, you know. Not saying I'll let you slide, but you know what I'm saying, it's just cool to just know those type of people. But, quick little 10 minute video, hope you guys enjoyed it. I gotta, you know, get ready to leave for work, but I'm glad you guys are watching my channel. If you have any more questions about security forces and this video helped you decide if you wanna do this job or not, let me know. But, last thing I wanna leave it to you is security forces are not the worst job in the Air Force. It's definitely the maintainers. They, they be out there grinding. Anyway, all right, I'm out. Wait, 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 real quick. Subscribe to my channel. We are so close to 1,000. We are like 970 something, 974, I'm not, I'm not for sure. It's like one of those. But we're literally that close to 1,000 too. So let's hit this goal and you know, more videos on the way.